Today I want to show you the strongest weapon setup that you've never used and that you probably think is bad. Uh, I actually had a run like this just the other day with these weapons and these drones and these systems. Uh, I just forgot to keep a save file so I've cheated my way through to the flagship. Um, that's why I'm maxed out on everything, it's just the easiest way to get there uh, and why I have so much scrap. Um, I won't be using engines above level 4, which is what I had, or any of these, you know, high level upgrades here, really. Um, anyway, Charge Ion and Ion Bomb are the backbone of this setup. And what's interesting to me about this is that so many players would think this is just not very good. Um, but it's one of the strongest possible setups you can have. Uh, even without a pre-igniter, it gets stupid good if you have a pre-igniter. Uh, and then you add on um, damage dealers, basically. Particularly a beam. Uh, and I also have these two beam drones, um, which I picked up near the end, actually. Anyway, let's just take a look. I'm going to uh, add a timer. There it is. And there's just a couple of interesting things I want to interesting things I want to show you about this setup. Uh, reset the timer. The reason I'm using a timer here is that the flagship doesn't allow us to use our high-level sensors. Actually, that's not the best position, is it? Uh, it'll do. Oh, I guess I should uh, be doing this. Hacking piloting. Now, one thing about the ion bomb here is that it's quite slow. It's 22 seconds. And uh, with the weapons training, that drops to, what, 17.6 seconds. Um, but then it takes another 1.6, sorry, 1.7 seconds to actually explode. Uh, so now you're back up to 19.3 seconds. Now that's fine in terms of beams, but it's worth bearing in mind if you're trying to land a projectile after it when they have a cloak, um, you have to be very precise. And that's what I'm going to show you here. I don't even know if this is 100% reliable, so I wouldn't completely plan around it unless you really have to. Uh, but it does seem pretty good. Okay, that'll be a good timing. I'm waiting for that to fire my charge ion. There's a reason for that. You'll see in a minute. I'm using a level three hack on piloting. Uh, this is kind of a fun enhancement. And then we fire the ion bomb. Watch this animation. Watch the tray retract. And then you want to just look at it start to appear slightly there. And then I'm going to fire the heavy laser from the front. Be careful when you're swapping weapons around like this. Um, if you have Zoltans in the room, because, you know, they, they do this, they do power. Uh, but it's okay if you're paused, you can repower them. I fire the heavy laser from the front. And I want you to pay attention to how close it is. You see the heavy laser projectile there, still on our side of the screen, and just about to come in. Here's the bomb. Okay. And uh, we've got 29.3.4 seconds up here. So we've got about 0.64 seconds or something. Um, for the laser to land. I'm just micro pausing so you can get an idea of the timings and how close it is. And there we are. I'm actually going to retarget the heavy laser to piloting and hit the beam through here. Get six damage and do a damage to the missiles as well. But there we go. 0.3 or so of a second or thereabouts left. Now one other thing I want to show you, uh, well let's just unleash the drone, shall we? 
Don't hack me in the weapons, thanks. Uh, here comes the next heavy laser. And you see that will land just before the hack runs out. So we guaranteed that all of their shields went down for a really, really long time. We took their cloak out, guaranteed. And then we also took out their evasion, guaranteed. And in fact, the beam drones will just murder them now. Um, but I'm going to switch them off because I want to show you something else. Again, this doesn't just apply to the flagship. Um, it's something that can be used against other ships. If you pre-place your beam... Uh, I haven't actually clicked it, you see. I'm, I'm just in this state. Then, after they cloak... Wait for it. You can still fire. And it pulls them out of the cloak. The pipe beam times out very well for this. You have uh, just enough time to do that. And uh, yeah, that's it. Phase one. Um, the rest of the phases I don't think are as interesting. I really wanted to demonstrate the cloaking interactions, uh, but we could speed through them. Maybe I'll turn off the timer. All right. Hack evasion. I'm only using the upgrades that I actually had here. Timing on the ion bomb. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to auto fire here because I don't want to break cloak later. And we can use the same timing with the ion bomb and the heavy laser uh, in order to cloak the missiles without having to drop our shields. I think. Okay. Uh, what do I even want to hit here? I mean, it just doesn't matter. Piloting, I guess. Heavy laser is away. Cloak the missiles. Might as well switch off the boarding drone. Beam drone's on. And the flagship is not going to last very long. Will it even make the pike beam? I think it will. Yeah. Okay. Double beam drones, really good against a Zoltan shield. And I think I'll probably save my weapons now. Maybe. Doesn't really matter. Uh, do we need to cloak this? No. All 
right? Oh, come on. That's not right. Uh... Oh, it doesn't really matter. Level one, level three, level one. There's lots of things you could target here. Maybe send another ion into the missiles to switch it off completely for a bit. No, it doesn't quite make it. So maybe next time the game is offering you weapons that you think are garbage, uh, think again. <laughs>